Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, I have an amazing print-on-demand product to show you. Not only will I review samples of this product from the print-on-demand supplier to show you the quality, but I will also show you some amazing design ideas that you could try with this product. This is a product that can make you a lot of money, and it is also one that can be very unique for your niche, which means ultimately you might have an easier time actually making sales. If you are new to my channel, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I often create videos just like this showing you print on demand products that you could try to sell. And as always, if you get value out of this video, make sure to drop a like on it for good luck. And if you are in the process of building out your print on demand business and you want to go through some of my step by step training, make sure to check out my course. There is a link down in the description. Inside you will get access to over 30 step by step videos showing you the process that I've used to create a full time income from print on demand. The best part of this is that it is completely free. Like I said, there is a link down in the description. What I have for you guys is three separate samples from two different print on demand suppliers. This one here is from one supplier and these two here are both from the same supplier. In a few minutes, we will show you exactly which supplier these are from. We'll talk about how profitable they are and I will break down the quality. So what the heck are these? These are actually print on demand puzzles. Basically, your design gets printed into a puzzle and when the customer buys it, they can then put it together. We will start with this one here on the left. This is exactly how I received the sample from the print on demand company the design in which the puzzle is created from is shown here on this piece of cardboard inside and then inside the bag is where all of the puzzle pieces will actually be this option here arrived just like this where on the front here there is this sticker showing the actual design that the puzzle will create there is a description here telling people that are not old enough that they shouldn't handle this in inside of this container are the puzzle pieces. This third option here is super cool. This one came inside of a tin. You can see here that the top of the tin has this picture printed on it. And then inside there is a bag containing all of the puzzle pieces. Now at first glance, obviously something like this feels a little bit cheaper compared to a nice glass or actually not glass. This is plastic, nice plastic little jar here with a tin lid and a actual tin here. Obviously these two feel a little bit more higher end. Now in a few minutes I will show you which print on demand supplier all three of these puzzle samples are from. Quick side note here is that each one of them is going to be available in different piece counts. You can see this one here is a 252 piece puzzle. You are going to have the option to choose from several different piece counts and I will show you those in a few minutes when we look at the suppliers. This is a print on demand product that obviously at this time of year as I am making this video which is the middle of October could be a great product to sell for Christmas time. If you are watching this video and it is not Christmas time because videos live forever here on YouTube, let me know down in the comments when you're actually watching. And keep in mind that throughout the year there are numerous opportunities for people to give gifts, whether it is other holidays such as Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, or even Father's Day, or just simple birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. So what I'd like to do is show you which suppliers actually offer these print-on-demand puzzles. What we're going to do after that is I'm going to show you some epic design ideas that you could try to build out entire businesses for these products with. The goal of me doing that is to give you some ideas. On my channel, I often try to show you some cool print-on-demand products and if I am also able to give you some tips and some good ideas to get you thinking about design ideas for this product, that is also something that I think would be cool. First, we are going to start with this tin here, and you can see this is available through the Printify app. This product here is going to be available in a 30, a 110, a 252, a 500, and a 1,000 piece puzzle. You can see here inside of the Printify app, they have several different mock-ups available to you. One that shows the tin, one here that shows the puzzle completely assembled, another here that showcases the tin, and then another one showing the puzzle almost put together. 
This is going to be available through a print-on-demand supplier called Imagine Your Photos. In terms of the cost of this puzzle, it's going to start at $12.60 if you have a Printify Premium account. If we click on the More Details button, you can see that for the other sizes of the puzzle, the price point will increase. Our second option is this one here, and this one is also available through the Printify app from a supplier called District Photo. This one is a little bit cheaper, just $5.75 for the smallest size with a Printify Premium account. Again, if we click on More Details, we will see that the price will increase for the more pieces within the puzzle that you choose. Now, this one also has some pretty good mock-ups available to us. A couple of them will show close-ups of the pieces, some of them will show the back, some of them will show the puzzle actually assembled, and overall it is a great way to present your puzzle to your customers. Now, before I show you the supplier for this puzzle here, I sort of want to compare and contrast these two because I think these ones are basically the same but also vastly different. And like I said, in a few minutes, I will show you some awesome design ideas that you can try to sell these puzzles with. Now, I say these are very similar but also very different in the sense that they are both puzzles that come in numerous sizes. Both of them you can get in about five different size ranges, meaning you can get this in like a 200 piece or a 1000 piece, right? Which would make them basically the same. At the end of the day, your customer is buying a puzzle from you. The major difference between these two is the actual packaging in which the puzzle comes in. If we go back and look at the mock-ups available to you here, you can see that this one is presented as coming with a tin, and this one here is just presented as arriving and not really having anything with it, because that's essentially what you are going to get with this. In terms of pricing, there is a pretty big difference between the two of these. If you were to go with the cheaper option here, at the end of the day, your customer is still getting a puzzle from you, but they are not getting a tin like this, which in some cases is a great touch. Is it necessary? Probably not. I think you could still sell puzzles successfully even if you didn't have a tin with it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And here is option number three. This one is from the Subliminator print on demand company, which I have up on the screen right now. Now, this one here only comes in a couple of different sizes. I was trying to figure out which sizes were actually available. I don't see that listed here, although I do see on the page that they do have a 120 piece puzzle on there. They have 252 and that is it. So I'm assuming it's available in those two different size options. The only thing that I'm not seeing is the actual price breakdown for each of the different sizes. You can see here that if you are selling to the United States that it is going to be a $17 product. And again, I don't know if that is for the 120 piece or the 252 piece. This one here is the 252 piece. And again, it's going to come with this little plastic lid and this little plastic jar with a picture of the design that the puzzle ends up creating. If I took price out of the equation completely, I would say that the one that comes in the tin is the nicest because obviously when you are able to provide someone with a tin like this, not only to store the puzzle pieces, but to also showcase the actual design that the puzzle creates, that is a pretty cool thing. If I am attacking this from a more budget perspective, I'm probably going to go with this guy here. A great solution if you are concerned about the mock-ups and the presentation of this one, what you could do is you could actually order a sample. And then what you would have to do is figure out a great way to take your own photos and display the puzzle. What I mean is you might have to take the actual puzzle pieces and display them in a great way, maybe put them in a jar or something like that, or even put the puzzle together and then take your own photos. All right, so let's now talk about some of the design ideas that I wanted to share with you. Essentially, like I said, the point in me doing this is to not only show you a really cool print on demand product, but to also give you some really great product ideas in terms of what types of designs you could actually create. Our first one is right here. Now, this is a digital download product. So essentially, I'm not talking about doing something like this. But what I am saying to do is to create some sort of a personal sports card looking puzzle. You could do this for virtually any different sport out there. Obviously, this one here is baseball. You could do football, hockey, running, track and field, and all the list 
goes on and on and on where a customer is actually uploading a photo of their child onto an existing design that is made to look like the puzzle is some sort of a sports card. This could be an option that could allow people to get really excited about the product and it could also be something that you charge a premium price for. Our second option is to do something like this, where essentially someone is using your print-on-demand puzzle to announce a birth. Basically, this type of a product would be purchased by someone and then gifted to someone else who would put the puzzle together to find out that they are going to be a parent or a grandparent or something like that. One thing that you could do to add an additional layer of awesomeness to this would be to create an existing design around the ultrasound photo, something like this here, where it says, Baby Harris coming December 2020. Another option would be to do something like this, where you are taking a photo of somebody's pet and then putting it on a body of a Renaissance soldier or something like that, and then creating a puzzle of it and allowing someone else to put it together. As you see so far, all of the ideas that I have for this product involve personalization. This is because when you are selling a product like this, where your profit margins are going to be super important, because at the end of the day, the puzzle is not really a high profit type of product, we will want to maximize our potential selling price, which means allowing our buyers to actually personalize the item. And ultimately, those three ideas that I showed you, I think do a good job at helping you to do that. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of those three ideas and more importantly out of these three different puzzles here which one you think is the best this one from subliminator which comes in this little plastic tin or these two options here from the printify supplier from the printify print on demand company as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video